Wait, no glass, no drinking what? I just have my knee repairs. I mean, replaced. Oh, okay. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I right. can, I can give you directions. Yeah, right. right. if you just want to. Oh yeah, I do is let him. Yep. Do okay. Me. Yeah. That's fine. All right. We can do that. Yeah. I'll be in the, the other room when you get done. Okay. What's your name? I'm not. I'm not sure. All right, Joe. Just stand right there. What's your name again? Jarvis. Jarvis. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jarvis. I'm Joey. It's like Joey. Yes. Nice to meet you, Joey. Nice yes. to meet you, too. All right. Jarvis is a very nice gentleman. Uh, I've been, uh... I'll see you when you get done, okay? Okay. Uh, you were going to say something you've been wearing? I've been a huge Red Oak fan for, like, I don't know, since... I was in Raleigh one time, and they had it at uh, a restaurant, so I'll try it. Yeah. I can't remember what restaurant it was. I was like, and then you built this thing. We used to stop at the uh, the uh, uh, truck stop stop across the street. Yeah. Back when Popeyes wasn't owned by Burger King and their service didn't suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they um, we used to stop and they say, oh, it's Red Oak, and I think I still say, I think I had that here in Raleigh. Yeah. Yeah, it's real good. My money's oh, like, um, sorry, man. Go ahead. Yeah, bolt. You gotta be a bolt. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jake. Yeah, from Charlotte. We're just going to give um, everybody a few more minutes to make sure we got everybody and then we'll get going, okay? All right. What was the last thing you said? You said no drinking, no blasting, right? Uh, don't touch tanks. Oh. Yeah. Well, that one sucks. <laughs> That's all right. You'll be all right. I mean, so uh, you're gonna let, you're gonna let me pull the blind card? <laughs> yeah, you can pull the blind card. You can touch the tank. It'll be all right. Yeah. I mean, not like the mechanisms. So I work in a factory, so. Oh, uh, okay, good. I know not to touch machines and stuff. Yeah. Like, I work in a. Uh, we have sewing machines. Yeah. I'm like, my mom and dad are like, you ain't getting no, no sewing machine. I'm like, I've heard blind people casually rib each other about sewing their fingers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just jabs, huh? Give each other yeah, jabs. Like, yeah, I'd be like, you know, it don't take you long to get tired enough to sew your finger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My buddy did that once. And he, uh, and they had moved him. And I've been wondering about him. So I haven't seen so and so in a long time. And they moved him. Okay. Yeah. And I found out they moved him because all of a sudden, we're like, I hear, ah! No. So he was in the back of the building. We were in the front. And our building is like 60,000 square feet. 
Because that dude sewed a sewing uh, machine in the sewing machine <laughs> because he was half asleep. Hey, listen, the one thing, if you're going to walk with me, i got to give you a red okay so it looks like you work here. Is that okay? Sure. Does that work for you? Yeah. It's just a good excuse to give you a hat, huh? Wait, you know what? It's a good excuse to give you a hat. You like hats? Yeah. All right, cool, man. Yeah, I have my cochlear implant. They can't get wet in the rain, so. Oh, okay. Let's That'd see. be great. You want to put it on, or let me see how it goes? I'll do it. All right, there you go. Oh, it's a ball cap. Yep, ball cap, yep. Oh, yeah, it looks good, man. Thanks. It's sharp. Thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, they had this in, uh, in Raleigh. It's like, I mean, you can't, it's kind of hard to find once you get west of Greensboro. Yeah. And like, you can't get it even in, uh, like, in Charlotte. We're like right by Fort Mill, South Carolina. Yeah. And we go to uh, Myrtle Beach. Even yep. though Myrtle Beach is right next to North Carolina, you go to a Publix, like, which they have one in Calabash, and they have one in Ocean Isle. But you go to Publix in North Myrtle Beach, which is like 10 minutes from there, you can't yeah. get rid of them. Yeah. I think we're getting ready to get started. You want to walk with me over here? Yeah. Oh. That's Joey, right? Yeah. Oh. Can I film this? Can I film this? If you want to. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fun. Go ahead. You want to stand here or you want to take a seat right here? I'll stand. So, okay, I'm just yeah, going to stand, stand right here. here. Okay, that'll work. Alright. How's everybody doing? Good. Good? Ready to get right. wasted. <laughs> Alright. This is my friend Joey. He's going to be hanging out with me side by side. And uh, Joey, do you know a lot of fun facts for the tour? Uh... I think Red Oak is like one of the large, like the largest brewery in America that only does lagers. I'm gonna take it. I don't know if that's still true, but he said it, so it's gospel to me. Oh. And it sounds really good, so. Oh, Red Oak is also the best beer, especially draft Red Oak is the best beer in the entire state of North Carolina. I'll fight over it. Yeah, and listen, he if he's willing to fight over it, there's two guys you don't want to mess with. I'm pretty guaranteed. So, <laughs> all right, so. Um, We'll get started uh, in here. Uh, first of all, I, I like to just kind of get to know who I'm, who I'm with, who I'm talking to. Uh, North Carolinians? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, all right. Uh, where, everybody else, what, we got uh, Yankees? Yeah. All right, it's all right, buddy. Me too. It's okay. <laughs> I didn't get to choose where I was born. I moved here after I graduated. Hey, we welcome them all. Yeah. There we go. All right. Good deal. I don't really like the term Yankee, but that's fine. That's fine. I like um, talking about baseball. They win more than the Mets do. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, so, uh, let's see. Who here is actually here to drink beer? And who's here to listen to me talk the whole time? I'm here right, to, do to both drink beer. Them. Okay, a little bit of both? Okay. Yeah. I just want to know. I want to know how long winded you want me to be. Well, so, sure you. there you go. Uh, the first room we'll be going into will be the, uh, the brew house. So, the brew house uh, is going to be pretty warm today, as you can imagine. We don't air condition that room. Uh, the next one we'll be in is uh, the cellar. And then we'll be in the packaging hall uh, wrapping up everything before we come back. Um, uh, we've been here uh, at this brewery for, since uh, 2006. We built the location next door. Um, prior to that, has anyone ever been to Spring Garden? Okay, excellent. I've excellent. heard of it. Used to work there. You did? All right. I hear you. Good deal. I like it. I like this. Um, so, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I moved down here around 2003, uh, got into craft brewing uh, around uh, five to ten, somewhere in there, ten years later. I uh, started off packaging part-time at Red Oak. It's all kind of a blur when it runs, you know, it all runs together a little bit. But I started off packaging part-time at Red Oak, uh, became a shift brewer uh, after a couple of years. Uh, and I, I was here for about three as a shift brewer. I went to Foothills uh, Brewing Company in uh, Winston-Salem for about six. And I've been back again for a little over a year. 
Um, I like to refer to my title as uh, somebody else because uh, when somebody's not willing to do it, somebody else does. Mm -hmm. So uh, that means that anywhere from milling in to bottling, canning, you know, running the filler, getting the beer out the door onto the uh, onto the trucks, uh, I'm involved in it. So uh, any questions you have, I'm hoping I can answer them. If not, uh, I uh, will promise you I'll find the answer. What's so. the most, what's the brew, what is the uh, easternmost brew uh, place and the westernmost place in, uh, like restaurant, if you know this, okay, where you can get red oak in the entire state. That's a good question. Thank you. Joey's gonna be perfect to me. I like this already. So we are not in Asheville yet. I can't remember the town as uh, the furthest west that we're in. I had um, it in Glowing Rock. Did you? Nice. Yeah. So I know we're down in Charlotte. Um, we're wanting to eventually expand up into uh, maybe a little bit of Southern Virginia. We're still talking about it. We haven't made that jump. We talked about maybe Myrtle Beach. Oh, please do um, that. And then I we're, uh, the beach. we're also in uh, Wilmington. Um, so yeah, so we go uh, way out, uh, way out east, and uh, in, in Outer Banks as well. So oh, I wow. guess that would be the furthest east, huh? Yeah. Um, so if you would, if you want to follow me, we'll go into the brew house. If you want to make friends, I want to ask a bunch of questions in the brew house because it is kind of warm. Maybe save those for the cellar. That's just a joke that I have because it's hot. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Okay. That's why you drink red oak because it's hot. Made the way. Go, Yay! And see, when you do sight a guide, you're supposed to have your cane up, but there are cracks and stuff out here that you might not see, so I have it down. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm unfamiliar. Yeah. I don't know if you ever had a blind person before. Oh, uh, I haven't. I don't do the tour every week, okay. though. I thought the brew house was like, um, I always thought it was like, like you had to drive to it. It was like, oh, not the brew house right over here. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think this is the only one you can get like tours on the website. Cause oh, really? If you go, which I know a lot of people, because we got a stuff coming up over here. All right. See, I'm all blind drunk. There you go. It's not an hour Solid 40 minutes. Dude, this is like an hour and this is two hours from my place. This is two hours from my place. If there's no traffic, if there's bad traffic, it'd be two, fifteen, two and a half. Yeah. But like my dad has customers here, so anytime you get any reason to be within 30, 40 exits of here, we take it. Oh, okay. Oh, he's coming up here. Yeah, it's a little bit of a deep flat in here. Going down this hill, and then we'll turn right around, and it's going to go back up. Yeah, I remember I stayed at the Hilton in uh, Raleigh. Yep. I think that, that was the first place I remember for a fact that had it. Yeah, had red. <laughs> Yeah, like, said you, yes, we were still in town, but we were all yeah, like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 That's it. I said, I like red oak because, man, I love that beer. But in, in Charlotte, Midwood Smokehouse has it. Uh, Rusty yeah, Onion has it. Yeah. Old Pineville yeah. Pub has it. Uh, Duckworth has it. Attention, Charlie. And and I think that's the and he was uh, finishing up. Oh, and Newen Brew has it. I left. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if you know any of those places. Well, uh -huh. he left me with a homeless man. Yeah, I don't. I don't deal too much with the sales side. I'm just uh, just in the brew house. Uh, yeah, I, I know a little bit of like where we're at. You know what I mean? Like how like south, and how far east, and stuff. But, like, Oh, is there public stores in the state? Huh? Does Publix have it? I know Harris Teeter does. Uh, I think we're in Publix. I'm not, yeah, see, that's another one. I'm not, I'm not too sure as far as all the accounts. I thought for sure y'all would be in Food Lion, because Food Lion is like, um, we are some. Not, not the whole state, but I know that, like, we'd 
you know, I, I live in Kernersville. We're definitely in that one. I got some steps coming up right here. And my buddy's like, you know, there's a convenience store by my house that has six pack cans. I was like, yeah. I've never seen cans, so I got them at the uh, yeah. HQ. Well, he was, yeah. Which I have, I, you know what I did? I used to have a fish tank in there. I got rid of it because I couldn't hear, like, when I. Go to bed. I have no hearing, yeah. basically, so I couldn't hear it anymore. So I said, oh, okay. "Daddy, you're taking care of this fish tank for no reason." I already get a beer clear. Instead, he's like, "Yeah, you're right. I'm kind of tired of taking care of this thing, and you can't hear it." Kind of a narrow door here somewhere. Got a couple of weird walkways. What is this thing? This thing's air conditioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're in the first part of the brewery. It's just kind of like walking into. This is like the old tasting room we used to give the start the tours here. So it must have been an intimate It is. It is. It reminded me of it. It would be like a real room. I'll shut up and let you talk. So I've got to walk up on the uh, mezzanine out here, so I'm going to kind of just park you at the bottom of the stairs by it, okay? All right. And I'll, just have you, I'll show you where the railing is, and just have you hold on to the railing, so that way when I come down, I know where you're at. Looks like a uh, subway station kind of. Yeah, right here is the railing to it. There you go. Yep. And I'll be right up. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to come up here, but yeah, you stand right here. Uh, if you want, just come on right in. It's not too bad. No, it's not. Nothing that a beer can't fix. These guys are good. They open up the garage door. That's like a little bit of a cool area from the cellar. We've also got some fans up above until you can't handle the cool So, we're going to go out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kind of? Alright, good. 
I always wanted to do it. Like um, I like being hoppy. Yeah, has a lot of hops, like yes. IPAs yeah. and pilsners. If you're a uh, resident culture back in yeah. 21 or something like that like, in Charlotte. So to add on to what he's saying, yeah. so a lot of people love hops like the spice of the beer. That's gonna be because we just did a multi beer and we did it next to the top. Yeah, and we're gonna be very uh, appealing at all. Now I can tell you, I worked at Foothills and we used five gallon buckets. Yeah. 
everybody got in it, and, you know, made that action and the whole pool, you just go around in the circle and kind of suck all the dirt to the middle. I was a poor kid, I wasn't able to do that. But anyways, <laughs> like uh, race flash it was made it easy for my, you know, for my hand to like sweep up the leaves. So anyways, that's the same action that whole pool is going to have. It's going to go ahead and move all that protein and that turn into a pile of the whole pool. So later on, while we're fermenting, What, like, what does the hops and stuff feel like and stuff? What's it feel like? Yeah, like... Uh, kind of like rabbit food. Rabbit? Kind of, I, yeah, kind of looks like it, kind of, kind of feels like it. Like a pellet? Yeah, yeah, so that's pellet glass, yeah. I thought it was a, I thought it was a flower, like, so like you're lettuce. Right, actually, you're right, it comes from which one is wheat, I should rephrase that, we use a pellet glass. So it oh. comes, and that's a great point that you bring up, Jody. Uh, it comes from the most craft breweries are going to use a pelletized form. Uh, that tends to be kind of middle of the road as far as efficiency and uh, cost. Uh, the other form would be in like a macro brewery, they're going to have some bush, they're probably going to be using an extract. And the reason is you've got to think that if you're brewing in a 100 barrel or 100 hectoliter brew house or 200 hectoliter, uh, Mike, how big is the one in the middle? The Miller Brew House, how big is that? Bar? Yeah. Uh, by that 200. Uh, 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 was it like 200 barrels? Uh, 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 yeah, it was in the two miles. Yeah. So, as you can imagine, the larger you get, the more supplies you're going to need to brew a beer. So, Pellets, they don't take up a lot of space, but they're still going to take up space. You have to keep them cold, uh, at least for a free period, but preferably a long period of time, and freeze it. So, uh, extract, you're going to need to do that as well, but extract, as you can imagine, is going to be a much smaller footprint. Uh, so, the efficiency is going to be a lot better, uh, and the cost of, of being able to have that in house will be cheaper, but to buy it up front is going to be a lot more. So a lot of craft breweries aren't really messing with it, uh, unless if you get to it. Uh, some of the Belgium is definitely using it. Um, some larger breweries that size, so at least before you start with that. Like what brewery? Old Roman Hops, the real damage there is going to be freshness. Again, those are going to be even larger to, to be able to put into a full winter freezer. Uh, and where the only time you're going to see that utilized is someone like Sierra Bottom that is a very hot forward beer that has some fresh hot beers that they put out that St. Adams does as well in the latitude. Yeah, they're ridiculous. Something like that. Um, so that would be the reason for the whole pump, the whole pump, the pops. If you're looking for that hot forward uh, part of the beer, like days, uh, anything like that. All right. I'm sorry to get one here. What's going to sell I see some people are like, they're hating on me. Right, if you would, follow me and we'll uh, head to the cellar. And then anything I missed in here, we'll talk about in there. I don't want to lose you guys in the middle of August. All right, Wait, Joey, you ready? Yeah, I'm drinking a whole barrel if you lose me. So. Oh, there you go. I'll leave you in here, and that's what you do. You get drunk on me before uh, the Yeah. Red will get you drunk quick. <laughs> if you haven't eaten much, it'll get you drunk quick. Well, I'm not going to dispute that. <laughs> Make sure you grab your friends. Yeah, I love those. And um, uh, you know Noda Brewery, fun fact. Yep. Never has operated in Noda. No, no. No, the original ones in Villa Heights. Yep. The new one, the big flagship one, yep. is in Tryon Hills, which no one's going to admit that it's in Tryon Hills because <laughs> Tryon Hills is uh, known as a very dangerous part of town. Oh, okay. This is kind of no, narrow from here with a lot of shit out, right? I don't know if you know like uh, like different breweries and other places like Resident Culture and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I got a buddy who works at Resident Culture. Yeah, if you're a Resident Culture back in the old days, like 2020, 2021, yep. a Pilsner was an IPA, so you used to shit on a hot. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know. Oh, <laughs> it was yeah. like, what are you supposed to be? Yeah. Like, I was like, who's this like, oh, Pilsner. It's like, if you, if you want, oh. Darcy, you gotta go all the way to a stout or a porter if you don't want a bunch of hops. Yeah. But they've gotten better about that. Oh, that's good. I have to admit. And Birdsong is another one. Yep, I've hung out there a couple times too. I'm yeah. gonna have you stand right about here. 
Okay. It's nice and cool in here. It is nice. That's why I was trying to hurry up to get to this spot. Huh? Which I like to know, like, why do y'all want air conditioning? Because you need a bunch of heat to make beer? Well, it just, yeah, it wasn't very cost efficient in there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi. Black oak. Black oak. I can't find it anywhere. 
so one day because it does take a little bit longer to get here. Um, so as I said, uh, 50 hectoliter batches. Uh, first, we had those 100 barrel fermenters, and it took 200 barrel uh, fermenters to go into a 200 hectoliter lager tank. Uh, now in the new cellar, which was built in 2016, um, we started off with just four tanks on the end. You can see we've expanded, and uh, unfortunately for tourists' sake, I'm glad because we're going to have more capacity to brew beer. But what we're seeing is going to be filled in with tanks as well. So uh -huh. over to the left here, we'll have two more uh, lager tanks, and uh, over on the right, two more lager tanks, and on the right side in the middle, we're going to have a big old right tank. Behind me, as you can imagine, it would be more careful. Can so, I touch the tank? You want to touch it? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, if you want to be real careful about touching it, sure. Yeah. So, when are we setting those new tanks? When are you, set, when are you setting them? We set those. Oh, thank you. You set these? How are you doing? Good. Yeah. 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 It's like a beam. They're probably, they're probably 30 or 40 feet. So like it's narrow at the end? They cone shape to the bottom until it's a drain. That is cool, and it's cold. This is Tito's twin Wow. I don't know what's in it. Yeah, what's your name? Allison. Huh? Allison. Oh, I'm Joey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joey. Thank you. Um, the design of the tank is going to be turns. much different. Uh, fermenters, uh, they're going to look the same as far as the outside and the building, uh, but depending on the other tanks, uh, you're probably going to have a racking arm, which we don't have. It would be just above that bottom valve. Uh, it would just be kind of sitting in the middle of that cone. That way, if there was a lot of hops or fruits in that tank, you could kind of move that arm back and forth to get it up and above that to be able to get it really good. Since we're not dealing with that, the only thing the only obstacle we have is yeast, which most of it we're be using anyways. Uh, we're just dumping the rest off on that cone and being able to capture the rest of that beer before we go into the uh, fire. Now, in the fire tank, uh, as I said, What's the difference between a lager tank and a regular tank? Yep, that right there. So the lager tank, um, we can kind of like shoot you down the side of it, but the lager tank's a long horizontal tank, and the fermenter is going to be real tall. So the fermenter and the size of the Yeah, because all the humans do is drink when they get done. Yeah, that's it. Quality, I always wanted to be quality control. I think control. that you would drink. I always wanted that's to be quality control at a brewery because, like, I mean, maybe here they would have, like, because this is a bigger one, they'd have sophisticated yeah. things. Yeah. But at a smaller one, like, if you're a resident culture, yeah. dude, you just drink it. Uh, so, uh, before I lose that, 
Is lager the only beer that has its own style of tank? Like, is there such thing as an IPA tank or style uh, tank? No, that's a great question. I can't speak too much on it, but open fermentation, you can see that at Sierra Nevada. It's a uh, Belgian style of brewing. If you are uh, closer, uh, it's hops juice without the hops. It would be out on this new Salem at um, Radar Brewing Company. If you go to Radar, it's, it's a smaller brewery. I think they're maybe six, seven barrel brewery. But they've actually got an open fermentation uh, system where you can watch that through place. They've got a window where you can look through and watch it. And they've got a HEPA filter and they've done it on a small scale, but they've done things the right way to be able to make those uh, true style beers. We obviously do not have any open fermentation here. We yeah. control freaks in a German style brewery. So, uh, yes, Germans are control like freaks about everything, including their beer. Yeah. Um, I, I have quite see. a few of them. Any other questions for the seller? How long will it take to do it? It really depends on the, uh, how well that yeast is performing. But it's going to be around two to three weeks. So what we're looking for there is the yeast is looking to eat all the sugar that we've taken out of the brewhouse. So all that, all that, all that, all that, all that, we've got that little water on the ground. That's what we're looking for, the sugar from that set. And we're all coming here, in fact, we'll come in here, and we measure how much sugar is in there. And then we'll know, based upon how all the beers are performed, how much uh, sugar that is. Now the byproducts of all of that are going to be alcohol, which everybody loves. And then the secondary one is going to be CO2. So CO2 we actually capture naturally. Carbon dioxide. I'm trying to find the nearest uh, valve. It'll be right over here. Isn't that so why uh, beer has fizz? And this, actually, and this is we've got two, they're called Again, if we were just a pale brewery, we'd crank it up tanks. And we wouldn't be worried about that. We would just blow that uh, tank, what we call the terminal uh, bread. And then uh, we would dump it and close it out, pressurize it. And we'd look up to a uh, CO2 cell. So we'd just be a small bunch of uh, small holes in it. And then that would allow us to burn it in the ground. Four cells. Is uh, yes. the yeast uh, that you have in there I've seen like when I went to breweries, like I went to OMB, like yeah. sometimes you go to breweries and they'd have like a tank like in the front for people to look at and stuff. Yep. It's just like a wood, it feels like a wooden tank. It's nothing uh, like Oh yeah, here. fooder. Yeah. So we don't have any of those. Those are, are going to be more. Are those used? Yeah. So like um, sour beers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're not touching those guys either. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all don't, we, you don't sour, make hops Sour is literally a form of order. If you ever wanted to bring them on from the sample, I'd probably bring them Yeah. I don't want any part of that organism in my gut. What, sour? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. so, it's okay. Uh, it's okay if you're like 50, uh, if you're like a few red oaks and a few, uh, 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 what's a, a real strong one, baby makers from Sycamore Deep. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Does anybody have any other questions? How yeah. does it get from the 
Oh, oh three thousand to the seller. Yeah, so the, the stuff we use for using is going to, we're just going to call it terminal gravity. Uh, it's going to just eat up all of those sugars that it wants. And it's going to be pretty consistent where it finishes because one, the beer style is only going to go so far. You know, it's only going to go to like three Play Doh and then it's pretty much going to be done. Maybe, you know, the next batch is 2 9. But it's going to finish about the same spot. And when it's the same brand of beer, and let's say, um, I don't know if I'm not saying things that there's drafting, but let's say the number was 12. 12 Play Doh. And that's the one that comes in at. What does uh, Play Doh mean? Uh, Play Doh, that's how much sugar is within that, uh, that brew. How much we measured that, that sugar. Because so, for a second I thought you said 12.0, I was thinking, hell yeah. Oh, nice. So it'll it start off at like 12 Play Doh, and then it'll finish at like 3. And then that's how you're measuring your, uh, your gravity. That's how, or that's how you're measuring your uh, ABV, is where that finishes off. Because you know how much it's used. And any residual sugar that's left in there, that will be sweetness. So if you ever have a homebrew, or even a professional beer, you drink it, and it tastes kind of sweet, one, it could be lactose, it could be a milk stout. There's good. Kind of those are called sweet stouts or milk stouts, is because it's a lactose sugar. So it's actually designed to so they made a beer that it did not finish how they wanted it to finish. So it finished kind of sweet. Like so what's the one for here that has beer, we're looking for that here to finish all the way out. What's the one here that has that like battlefield or something? Uh there's one here that's kind of sweet. I can't remember which one it is. I mean I think it'll be all based upon like how you interpret it. But um black oak's a little bit bigger. I yeah. think they're all they all have a little bit of sweetness to them, but yeah. I think that's kind of. But there's kind one of that's like, um, there's one that's like, uh, I don't, like I'm half Cuban, so there, you might not yeah. know this. But there's this drink called uh, Malta, which is like malt. I thought it would taste like when I got it. I thought it would taste like red oak, but not getting yeah. wasted. Okay. But um, no, it's literally sugar. Yeah. It's like red oak. If you had a sugar spoon, you dump yep. a bag of sugar. Okay. Um, any other questions for inside the store? Yeah. Okay. When you take the sample, can I, like, can I touch it? And then we're also going to do everything has a temperature flow, so it has a decent work rate. It's actually going to build a little bit of a decent temperature. So we're going to use the measure as well. And obviously, we use the jackets to control that temperature. We don't want it to get out of control. But the first couple of days, it will go over to the rise, and then it's kind of like that is what we don't allow it. So long as we're going to burn that at a much lower temperature than what the nose on it. Uh, yeah, so we have a sample pour on the side there. We also have one on the fire today. And we'll check again. We'll check the terminal, we'll check the gravity of the air, or we'll also check the CO2, and whatever other uh, things we might want to look at. Any other questions in here? How does the... Uh... How does Joe, you're, you've almost used all your questions. you got a lot of them. Uh, no, what you got? What do you got, Joe? How about, like, when, you, uh, when the beer goes from the brew house to the cellar, like, how does it get there? Y'all have to carry it, or does no. it get pipes? That's a, that's a valid question. You do have a good question, Joey. Really. So everything that we move, we're going to move through pressure. Now, if it was in the brew house, in the brew house, we're actually using some pumps to come over. And then within the cellar, we're using just uh, power pressure. So we put a greater pressure on, let's say, the permanent than what we have on the lager tank, and then we're just moving it that way. 
whenever you start using motors and start using pumps, that's going to beat up the video. Yeah. So as much as we can try to limit that, we're going to have the highest quality here that, that we can. Now, if we start to expand, we have to you know, add pumps to be able to move here, maybe. But at this time, we're not doing that. And it takes a little bit longer to come up with the season pressure, but that's how we're moving all over here with the actual seller. Any other questions except Joey? Okay. Any other questions, Joey? Yeah, you're alright, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? So, like 200 hectoliters is like, uh, like. You're gonna stop me, aren't you? Like, what, 100 times 2? Like, it's a very, yeah, so... Like uh, thousands of liters? Since we, since everything we're using in here is all purchased from Germany, and the original brewmaster who is actually from Germany as well, so we just went through the method system, now that we pay our taxes, so we not, it's the United States, the United States government, so we can check what we can do that. So we have to talk about converting everything to barrels when it comes time to pay taxes. We I never have our kegs, our large kegs are 50 liters. So, uh, we have to go around. We're going to break kegs, those are all there. We're going to go back and forth all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? 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 Yeah. Any other Lead the way to the bear. Well, you can tell I love the green beer. Oh yeah. Oh, this might be the one I love is too. Huh? You guys paid, so I mean, whatever you want. Yeah. Are you saying I didn't? <laughs> no, I, I never said you didn't. Oh, what are these drains that we're going over? Yeah, those are just big trench drains. Oh, like water drains or yep. big beer? Oh yeah, them? beer, water. Yeast, everything. Yep. Uh, I can imagine like there. your runoff is just full of beer parts, like yep. nasty but intoxicating. Yeah. Well, some some um, some parts of it, you know, you're not wanting um, you're not wanting any part of it. When yeah. the beer's pretty young, it's not very pleasant. You got to let it. Age yeah, I, I remember I went to OMB yeah. and they were making beer. Yeah. It's like musk bread. Oh yeah. Yeah. There you go, we'll stand you right here. And you kind of a, face um, this direction right here. Yeah, yep, you guys just gonna fill in right over here. There's a whole car dealer shit. Yeah. And their brewery, like they have, a, like their special yeah. event room is in their uh, production area. Yep. Their brewery is literally old service garage. So like y'all have a sophisticated one. I've seen breweries yeah. in the service garage. Oh, that's an amazing Yeah, we, unfortunately we don't have, he doesn't have his own room. So, uh, the packaging all shares in his space with the maintenance guy. Like, that's, like, I hope he's not here. He's no longer the maintenance guy. He fixes all, everything that breaks. But he has got all those, like, extra additional cables of, like, gun up with my maintenance guy. Yeah, that's it. See, my dad's the maintenance man, and that's what he would say to me. You go, hand me that damn. That's it. All right, so this is the packaging hall. This has been up and running for about a year and a half now. Prior to this, the uh, you can see the bottle filler over in the corner over there. That was the first um, packaging, well, our keg machine was our first packaging equipment. But to go out to the grocery stores, that was our first packaging equipment. Uh, that used to be in the old keg room. Uh, so that was years ago. Since then, we put this in. Uh, the bottle filler served its purpose, and it's still our bottles are still the number one sales. If you were to ask, um, if you were to ask Bill, he wants cans to be it. Cans are starting to make a push, but uh, you know we you can't some, find them anywhere. Yeah, we have some diehards that love bottles. They yeah, bottles are awesome. Yeah. Bottles are the only way I can tell stuff apart. Yeah. <laughs> like so the beer bottle. I'm not trying to get political. You know what I mean? It's like you know, like yeah. like vaccinated and not vaccinated. Cans and bottles, and very divided. You know. But then, there you go. I don't there like you see go. bottles. There you go. Yeah. Cans of all beers look so the same, so except so except Stella. So uh, yeah, 
in the packaging hall. Our bottle filler was able to run 150 bottles a minute. Uh, years ago, like I said, when I first started off with Reno, and I was just assisting, I had a full-time job, I'd come in part-time, they were letting me help out a little bit. We were running half days that bottling line. So that's it, i work a half a day, they give me a little beer, I'd eat lunch, I'd go home. It was a pretty cool Oh, side. that's a hell of a gig. They paid you in beer? You know, that's how Bill Sherrill sure got his hooks into me. I've been here years later. Hell yeah. Um, so now, uh, just to kind of give you an idea, uh, we went from that, which we went to full days. We were running every Monday. Now we're running, you know, anywhere, depending on the demand, three to four times a week for bottling uh, and with cans as well. Cans, we've, uh, we only have 12 packs Hummingbird and Red Oak, uh, but cans, we've got all of our seasonals in cans and six packs. And then we also run 12 packs of Red Oak Hummingbird and six packs of Red Oak and Hummingbird. Now this guy here, this KHS, this cranks out cans at 240 cans a minute. So as you can imagine, uh, huh, we're able to rip through those things a little bit faster than we can the bottles. Um, yeah. So the first guy we have here is a depalletizer. There's a uh, pallet of bottles there at the end. I'm gonna run through this really fast because you're not the only ones that want a beer. I promise you, I am dying for water. Now I just want to know so, like yeah. everything. What? I just want to know like everything because I'm, I'm fascinated gonna... by beer. Joey, I promise you, if you don't have any more questions, I'm gonna answer all of them over in the beer. <laughs> Over a beer. <laughs> Over a beer, that's right. right. This guy knows. You're going to pay for he it? He knows my style. <laughs> I'll buy you a beer. I Thanks. So, uh, this first pallet that you see at the end of the line, that's our uh, glass pallet. So, we're set up. We're going to do glass on Monday. We're going to roll some red oak bottles. Uh, so, that's going to come in. It'll layer off one layer at a time onto this first conveyor. It's going to go around. Now, we actually share all of this uh, outside of the fillers. We're sharing everything else inside of here, okay? So, this, when we run cans, it's come off from the same depot. We actually divide it, kind of like a railroad track down there by that uh, second motor. Right before you see the bottles and the cans stacked up, it divides right there. And you can either choose which one, which filler you're going into. Uh, it's all right, um, so the bottles are going to go into the bottle filler. They'll come around. You can kind of see it over here on the side. There's a uh, rinser. Right, right to the left of this uh, big uh, electrical panel. That's where it's going to rinse our bottles and cans. Uh, before that, we have for cans, we have uh, an x-ray. It's not accurate right now. Nobody needs to worry. Even if it was, you'd have to like put your head inside of it all day for it to do any damage to you. So oh. it's low, low, you know, uh, low x-ray. But um, nonetheless, I like to tell everybody that it is moving on. I have a little light that pops on when it is. But we do have like some scary symbols on some of the doors that we have to do, you know, let everybody know that we use that. So, yeah. cans, we use an x ray to let, it, to let us know whenever it's a low fill. Uh, now, bottles is going to be high frequency, so that'll be based upon the density of the beer in there. If we don't know how, uh, if we have a low fill or not, uh, or if we've got too much gas in the bottle, uh, and then it'll kick that out. So, trust me, no one wants a low fill because they want right. to get wasted. Real quick, right? So yeah. after it gets past the rejection uh, test, it'll go through the rinser, it'll go into our first collection table. After that first collection table, we have our uh, air blower. You can kind of see back there, it has those hoses coming off. After that, when we get ready to leave, everybody can look to the left and be able to see it. It's a real small machine, it's our Except me. Huh? Except me, I won't be able to see oh, it. Okay. So it'll have a labor to the left. And then uh, after that, we'll have our case packer. Our case packer is going to be our biggest changeover between cans and bottles. It has a lot of moving parts. The boxes, obviously, the diameter and the shape of the boxes are much different uh, between six-pack cans and 12-pack cans and bottles. Uh, the next one is going to be the tray packer. You messed me up with that one, Joey. The next one, <laughs> All right. the next one is going to be the tray packer, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't give a shit what it is size uh, six pack or 12 pack and it's going to pack it into that tray just the same and what I like to say is my favorite piece of machinery and everybody that works in packaging should say the same is the palletizer. My first couple years here when we were over in the old room we did not have a palletizer and I was usually the one stacking pallets all day. So uh -huh. the first six months to a year I was like hell yeah I'm getting kind of jacked. 
the next year I was like, oh shit, I'm breaking down. So, Get in the beer so, belly. Yeah, so uh, I definitely, you said you couldn't see. How do you know I got a beer belly? Buddy? Because if you if you drink beer and don't exercise, yeah, you get a beer right. belly. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> so, so we've got this. I learned that the hard way. I don't care. That's I'm it. fine. So we've got the palletizer here. And uh, that's it. That's, that's all we got in here. <laughs> You're killing me, dude. You're killing me. All right. So on the way out, because we're going to go have a beer for sure. No, I'm going to have like 10. The first beer you're going to end up having is Hummingbird. Oh, yeah. If you'd like to ask about some beers once we get over there, I'd be uh, more than happy to tell you about them. Can I have uh, all of them? But you'll start off with the Hummingbird, and then I would encourage you. I think they either go to Red Oak or they go to um, 1516 next. I can't remember which one they go to after that. I just drink Hummingbird all night, so I can't, <laughs> I can't speak to that. It. That is so nice. good. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, as we leave, as we leave, I'm gonna pop open the uh, the rapid door here. I would just ask that you know you don't like step in because it is rapid up and down, but you can take a peek in there. If you like wave your hand, it'll reset. Uh, but it only stays open for a couple of seconds. But if you would, just don't walk in. Um, but I am gonna open it up so you can take a look inside. All right. What's the rapid door? I'm gonna show you. Well, you're gonna listen. Oh, oh, it makes a noise. Okay. Well, it just comes open rapid. Oh. So that's what we call it as a rapid door. What do you keep in there? You know what? I'm so glad you asked that question because um, I had to ask the owner today. I can answer any technical question you have, but not, I can't answer that one. So the red oak. Um, all right, I'm going to pop this guy right here. Everybody can take a look. Take me. Oh! It's a lot of beer. Ooh, it's cold. Oh man, that's a nice ice cold beer right so, there. So long ago, Bill Cheryl wanted the brewery. He lives in Oak Ridge and he wanted to, I literally asked him this question today because it's Oak Ridge. Which that's to my right? Oh, I'm sorry buddy, we're going to go around this corner. Which that's to the right though? The uh, wall. Yeah, it's just the wall. Yeah, I thought it was a We're going to go up this door and it's a ramp. Oh yeah. And if somebody could grab this door behind yeah. me. All right. So, uh, Bill Sherrill lived in Oak Ridge and wanted a brewery we could call Oak Ridge Brewery. Okay. He could not get a um, trademark for that because there were two wineries at the time in Oak Ridge. And it's a place So, to. yep. So, he, they wouldn't allow him to uh, call his brewery that. So, uh, we're going to take a left right here, Joe. Why did he need a trademark? Well, I'll let you, I'll let you tell the story. So, <laughs> after, uh, after they refused him on uh, Oak Ridge, and then we're going to hang back to your right. Oh, it's like a maze, man. So, after they refused him the trademark to Oak Ridge um, Brewery, he was like, you know what, I'm going to call it Oak something. So, he was looking around, he, in Winston back in the day, they used to have a drive-in movie theater that was called the Big Oak Drive-In Movie Theater. Um, and he thought about that. And uh, just one day he was like, you know what, damn it. In typical Bill uh, Terrell fashion, he said, I got a red beer or an amber beer. I'm going to call a beer Red Oak. So that's there it. is a big and oak then beer. Since there, then, he was like, you know what, now I got big oak, white oak, I got all the oaks. Oh, yeah. so Black oak, great. old oak. Yep, we got stuff coming up right here, bud. Oh, I smell burgers. Mm, yummy. There you go. Perfect with the. Yep. Well, just gonna open up our brewery and call it the Blind Panther. There you go. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. See, I'm such a big Panthers fan. Look what I do with my hearing aid. Yeah. Oh, no doubt, dude. That's it's cool. Panthers blue. Yeah, I like it, man. Thank you. Uh, I hope I wasn't a pain in the ass. No, nah, dude, you're cool. I like you. Thanks. I got your hat, then. I should. Thank you. You take that with you. Thank you. I don't. It's the only hat I've ever gave away. You know what? Really? Yeah, man. In what position to give it to me? <laughs> You're walking around with me. I've never, I've never had a guest side by side the whole time. And no. you earned your, you earned it too. You had a lot of good questions. Thanks. I got a long shot question. Oh, yeah, shoot, man. Do you know who did the automation for the packaging? Um, or did you guys do it all at house? It, no, we hired somebody out. I don't remember what it was, but it's Lauren Hill and Bradley. Is this a smoking area over really? here? Uh, it is outside. Yeah. Yeah, I smell smoke. Yeah, smoke. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna get you a spot over here. Oh, here, let's grab you one of these, dude. This is hummingbird. Do you want to sit at the bar? I'll stay anyway. 
You, you want to see right? This is probably the best spot for you. Yeah. Pretzels we're sampling. So All right. First come, first serve. Take Woo. them if you want them. I got you right After here, dude. After they're gone, they're gone. Um, slide so over. Uh, slide right here, man. Right here. Right here. And then when you're done with the hummingbird, bring it across the There's a stool right here. You feel that? Yeah. I got you a beer. That's hummingbird. And I got you a pretzel. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, all right. Is that your dad out there? Yeah. I'll grab him too. So. Oh, sorry, man. Ooh, beer cheese. Is it advisable to shoot it? Probably not. How was it? It's fun. Yes. Oh, he did. Did you learn anything? He was going to hang out with me all the time. Yeah. Did you learn anything? Yeah. What did you learn? How they make, uh, the, I got to feel the, uh, some of the tanks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you find out what they put in it? Mm. Oh, you got your beer Are you fine with that or do I have to go right to the house? Mmm. Oh, let me hand over this one. What are you doing? Why do you take my hat? Huh? Why do you take my hat? Huh? Your hat is a lot bigger than that. Yeah. 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 A uh, hamburger, a uh, bacon cheeseburger. Bacon cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. All right, you got your pretzel, man. Mm -hmm. What kind of beer they give you? That's a hummingbird to start. We're going around. I already had two, so I gotta stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause you gotta drive. <laughs> that lady called there on the way. Oh, what time is it? Time it is. Time. We'll get Joe a Just going to be strictly in Rockingham County. Doing the uh, one for the casino? No. Okay. No, it's, it's a camp therapy. It's a child's, it's a children's uh, camp. camp. I live right down the road. I live right there. Really? You live in Madison or Stokes there? Stokes there. See, I live in Madison. I live five miles in past there. I grew up in Madison. Y'all ran, y'all didn't do anything with Victory Junction? <laughs> we'll get that number and we'll talk. Yeah, we're going to 
Okay. Y'all ever do anything with Victory Junction? What's that? That's a camp. In, in uh, Randleman. In, in, uh, it's in Randleman. Yeah, it's the uh, Petties. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I used to go there well, before well, I aged out. God, it was so much fun. Have you ever been to Camp Carefree? No. Camp Carefree is just like that, but leave it on a small scale. They got, do they have animals? At Victory Junction, yeah. They got animals at, um, they got animals at Camp Carefree. They got llamas, donkeys, um, goats, miniature goats. Mm -hmm. um, they like the calves and they like the sheep. They got little baby lambs and things like that. They used to have peacocks, but I don't think they still have them in the world. Uh, yeah. Um, and you guys, you guys ride motorcycles? Well, I'm, I'm with a I'm with a, a union that has a motorcycle group. It's I love like, motorcycles. You like motorcycles? Yeah, I love to hear them ride by. You I got to ride on the back of one. Okay. It was fun. I used to ride years ago. I don't ride as much as I used to. Uh, it's fun. It makes like you go down the road at 20 miles an hour. It feels like 40. <laughs> and like, the well, you got you into uh, cruisers, naked sport, uh, sport bikes. What kind of bike motorcycles are you into? Oh, the one that would let me feel the tank show. Yes. Do you know her? 
I don't know her. I don't know any. Like my dad came with me, and that like I don't know anybody else on the tour. Uh, okay. Someone was helping me feel the tank. So I thought you were with that group. No. They're called, they're called Combat Veterans Association. Oh wow! So they all fought, they all most veterans. Of, most of them are uh, retired uh, military people. You know, I work making stuff in the military. Where do you work? Lion Services. Where is that? And it's on in Charlotte. Okay. But, um, in Charlotte? Huh? Do the tour. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to do a because see my dad has customers around this area, so he has to come and see the, and meet them and deliver stuff. Uh -huh. So like whenever he has customers around this area, he'll co we'll come over here. Okay. Although I just get in the car and drive two hours for this. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's really cool. I'll see. The guy that I was talking to about the camp. Oh wow. He's from the same way that I'm from. And that's the way I can help carry. That's that's the county, North of Griffin County. That's way. Well, that's not that far north. Well, it's. I probably drove from here probably about 28 miles. Oh and wow. The highways a whole lot faster. If I go through the country, which I'm going to just to keep looking at what I was crazy people on Facebook. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you did you drive or you rode here? I drove. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, Al uh, her name is Allison. I remember. What's she doing? She got her beer and then she went back to where she was sitting. But yeah, I, I, I have like nothing but like love and admirations for uh, for veterans. <laughs> Do they fight for the right of people like me to go get wasted and not have to deal with people like, you know, who hate us coming to get us. I don't drink much, but I know the owner, and I'm hoping that I can get him to do a beer. Uh, After y'all? Beer garden for, the, for my ride. So that's the reason why I came here. Oh, if you know anybody in Charlotte, where uh, Lion Services is having a walk on the 23rd, uh, September 23rd, for uh, for blind independence. Hold on, if you look. He's sort of out of my skirt. Alright. Oh, that's some good beer. Something's up in September. I'm finished with my beer. I don't know how to get another one. This is not good at all. I don't know. How many do you have? Two. Two. So you got number three? Here, I'll take the glass for you. I'll put the yeah. What's the next one on the flight? Get the next one. Oh, there's only two? Here comes your third one now. Alright, put it in here. Alright, that's number three. What's this one? That's the red oak. Okay. Standard red oak. Oh, yeah. That's the good one. DOG. Only but a good one. Cheers. If you got it, you too. I'm on number four. You too, Vinny. Vinny. Cheers, man. How do you? How do you? How you? I'm Vinny. Yeah. Okay, my name is Vinny, but everybody calls me Vinny. My cousin Vinny. I hear that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know that movie that movie is so funny that's a great movie that movie is like the part that gets me is like when the dude goes to jail the dude goes to jail um, in Mississippi and he's from New York so like they put him outside and he can't sleep and it's not quiet so they put him in jail and everybody's like like he's like hey mom and he's like he's sleeping like a baby so we're gonna do a ride next year, June 15th, and I 
and try to get very much went over to have a beer bond with a local winery in, in Rockland, Western Rockland County. So what I'm trying to do is get everything organized, and in the first of next year, we're going to fly as a blast Oh, hey. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Charlie. Nice to meet you. I'm Joey. Nice, nice to meet you, Joey. Joey. Well, all of us go to the country road. We're going to go through Madison, Marietta, and Stover. And they're going to have their little events around that uh, thing. We're going to ride back down. It's going to start at Jack Free, ride through the country, through Madison, Marietta, and Stover, then back through the country, back to uh, uh, Camp Carefree. I'm going to have the Transformer truck. I'm going to have an Army truck. I'm going to have an Air Force truck. I'm going to have a school bus, a brand new school bus for 2024. I'm going to have the first electrical joke bus. I'm going to have an activity bus. And then we're going to have the lawyer for Mr. Salem that represents only motorcycle riders. Uh, we're going to have uh, at least two food trucks. We're going to have uh, the beer and the wine. We're going to have a DJ. We're going to have the raffles. Um, Damn, that sounds fun. It's supposed to, it's going to be an all day event. The riders, the drivers, the riders are going to ride from from eight until they until they finish, come back, and everybody's going to be given a car, and they're going to vote for the best motorcycle that they who they think is the best motorcycle. And uh, uh, the goes to that bike, and uh, all the all the proceeds goes to Camp Kennedy. Oh wow, and that's right awesome. Now, Everybody thinks this is for to keep away from the casino. I'm really down about the casino. This I want to build a casino right in front of Camp Carefree. Ah. You see, my thing is. Oh, so why would Camp Carefree care? They're carefree. Like, well, let that get. It's, it's a different story than just being right next to it. Ah. But I, I started this plan before it even came out publicly that they want. So I'm going through it because I, I want them out. I've always represented them. I, I want to keep helping them regardless of what someone comes in or what. But this is going to be, if, if this is success, it's going to be an annual thing. Um, uh, the, sheriff, the sheriff of Rockland County is named Sam Page. He's so are non-motorcycle wel riders welcome? Like, like, could I come if I decided to show up all the way over there from Charlotte? You can come because it's, it's open to the public. We're coming to have the raffle, and I'm saying this, but I, I, I know it's going to be rough on you to see the, see the camp, see what I'm working for. Oh. So but if your dad or your mom comes with you, then they can tell you everything that they're seeing. Oh, wow. So is this a dis uh, for disabled children? The camp, children? Is, the camp is for any child during the summer months. Disabled have a week. Uh, I think they have a camp for blind kids and their guides. They gotta have a guide to come. Oh. And um, kids that have um, terminal illness, they got two weeks for them. So oh, wow. they they are they're, they're, they're property free. They they don't they don't have they don't have any money except for being you know people donate. Oh wow. Uh -huh. No, sir. I, I, this, this ride will going to be until June 15th of next year. Oh, so, shit. I'll probably forget about it. I'll probably be at the beach getting wasted. Hitting on chicks at the beach. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. All right, you too. You ever seen a blind man go to a nightclub? <laughs> no, I haven't. Ask my daddy the shenanigans I get into. <laughs> I bet you can. Oh, uh, yeah, I get in there. I get in there and get on the dance floor with my cane and start like rocking back, like rocking to the beat. And some girl walks by and like, I'm like, I'm like, a, I'm like sharp. Like, it's like a magnet. A girl walks by and be like, hi. And sometimes they're answering, sometimes they're not. If they don't, suck it up. Move to the next one like a football game. Like, who's open? Sometimes a girl, uh, the boyfriend might cover her up. Just like a receiver gets covered up. And oh, about their boyfriends. If I don't see him, he ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> I said I should get a. 
to come back. I gotta go give me a pretzel and I gotta get one for my wife. I, and she's not here, but I gotta take her one. Ah. <laughs> so don't go nowhere. Don't run off. Don't grab no don't grab no girls. I'll be right back. Save, save my seat. <laughs> I, I can't see anybody sitting in it, but I'll try. Yeah? Ah. Smells good. Mmm. Ah. Uh, well, I just wanted to sit here. Oh. Say this man is sick. You are surrounded by veterans. Mm hmm. Show him a picture of me uh, uh, making straps and inserts. Huh? Would you do that, Daddy? Mmm. Good burger? Mm hmm. They said it was a good burger. Ladies, you want to try some? I got the feel. I learned that there's different types of beer tanks. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a regular tank and there's a lager tank. A lager tank is real. It's horizontal. It's really long. Really? Yeah. How much beer do they make at a time? Well. How much beer do they make at a time? They do it in a. Um, and hectoliters, which I never heard that term till today. Hectoliters. Uh huh. Hectoliters. Yeah. Like a hundred liters. Yeah. It's like a two hundred hectoliter thing. I was warming the he was saving your seat because I can't see the save for you. What's the best job in the world? Me and my daddy. <laughs> Oh wow! Hey. Lamar Jackson. I went to watch the Panthers, and Baker Mayfield was the quarterback, so we were the Kitty Cats. <laughs> I'm like Cam Newton. Huh? Okay. All right. Are you a veteran? No, but I grew up in Pearl Harbor. You what? I grew up in Pearl Harbor. Oh, wow. Yep, my dad was in the Navy. And I was born at the Naval Academy. Is there another beer? I'm sorry. Oh, she just, your beer is, your beer is right here. It's right here. Oh, thanks. I've never done red oak like this before. Before. She's gone. Who is? She's on the move. She, she does not stop the talk of the conversation. Who, oh, Allison? <laughs> so she's going to come here back. She's going out with another. Man.
see that I've been picking up guys like I pick up chicks. <laughs> She picks up anybody's cup and puts it down in front of her. She picked me up when I said I, I wanted to touch the tank. She's like, yeah. I'm going to need another beer soon. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> my buddy, you know what my buddy did? My buddy, who's also blind, he, he went out with his buddies. And they were sighted. And they went drinking. So he went, and they they all get they all get toasted, and they go out to the car. Well, first he says, "Guys, I'll be the designated driver." <laughs> so he gets out to the car, and his friends are like, "Okay." And so he get they get out to the car, and twenty minutes go by. Finally, one of the guys in the group says, "Hey, Matt, weren't you supposed to be the designated driver?" He goes, "Yeah, what's the problem?" They go, "You blind as shit." <laughs> They're like, you buy this shit. They were like, I mean, he's a practical joker, but his sounds like them friends were kind of dumb, man. Like, <laughs> they're either dumb or they were pre gaming. But when they said they would let it be the designated driver. I might have met a, um, a guy magnet. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm, I'm a chick magnet. They call me a chick magnet. Huh? Uh huh? I want him to show you the picture of me with the, um, I'm making the straps and the inserts. No, I want him to show you. He, he has a picture on his phone of me, um, of, of some of the stuff I do. Wow, well, she'll carry you if you don't get help. <laughs> no, I'm not that much of a wimp, but I'm sort of a wimp. I've been married. I've been married. Oh, God. I was hoping this would be. Huh? I was hoping this was something I could put together. Oh. Uh, 17. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a box that I can put these in together? If you bring the two, I can put them. Yes, ma'am. Aye. Okay. Do you have it? Sure. And I'll be here when you get back. Here, another beer. Okay. He wants one more. That's, that's his third one. All right. What one do you want? Uh, whatever comes next on the plate. I don't know. Now we're the red oak. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What's your name? A oh, dance. They they quick around here. They quick. I mean, you don't even see them leave. I sure don't. <laughs> Um, you have a great sense of humor. Huh? You Thank you. Great you know what? What? You can't get over obstacles if you don't make fun of them. That's true. Now there's a, the bar that I, go, I like to go to at the beach. And it's a, it's overtly conservative, okay? And there are these people, you know there's these people now, they're snowflakes, they're like, oh my God, they got a sign that says anything. I got a sign that says Trump on it, and blah, 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 like, if you react like that, and you can't have fun, and you're so easily available, you can't have fun, like, we discriminate against people that can't have fun. Yes, we do. There's too much bull crap going on not to have fun. Oh, hi. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hi. She's gone. Oh, damn. She <laughs> talked to you when I say hi. She don't even say <laughs> she's She's hustling food in and out of here, so she's got to run. Oh. So, I'm going to have her. What? Who's the guy that led us in our tour? What was his name? Oh, my dad? No, the guy that led the tour. 
Uh, Jarvis. Okay. See, I don't remember that. So I'm going to look over here as soon as your dad gets back, and I'm out of here. Like I said, I got about 28 miles. 28 to 30 miles. I would love for I would love for him to show you. Uh, I would love for him to show you the. Um, I'd love for him to show show you some of the pictures of me. Hey, daddy! Hey, dad! Hey, daddy! Daddy, show him all the pictures of like me with the straps and the inserts and the molly bag and the. Yeah, and, and I'm proud of it too. Because for all the bullshit we talk at the job, we have an important one. And the pictures of me clubbing. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm hmm. Let me show you. Let me show you my little brother's bike. He's got two. I don't know if I still got my pictures in here. He is. He's a mechanic. He goes to all the bike rallies. He takes three vacations a year. One to Daytona, one to Mother Beach, and one to Virginia Beach. And he goes to his ass Damn. He makes his ass off the whole time. Other than that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I, I work my ass off, but I'm not shy about taking a drink. And then the other times, uh, yeah. And the other times, it will not. I'm going to do it a little bit of a favor. I, um... I ain't shy about taking my vacation, like, when I need to. Because, you know, there's boundaries and shit, you know. If you're going to work your ass off, you got to take time for you so you can keep doing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some pictures of me and show us some pictures of me clubbing. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, hell yeah. I have pictures of me clubbing, acting stupid. <laughs> well, oh, the old people I work with, man, you act stupid all the time. I was like, yeah, I know, but I ain't your age.
really so sure I'm going to be back today. He said, he Was it was it the original Red Oak like this? Uh, it was the original Spring Garden beer. Oh wow! Which is now Red Oak. Yep. And, uh, yep. He was a cool dude. I'm, I'm sorry he's gone. I would have liked to talk. I wanted to meet him the last time me and my wife came, but he didn't go. She said, "Well, he came to the end and found his daughter too. That was before the pandemic." So then, mm -hmm. I only got a chance to come back once. We got to push it up and push it. And who's that behind me? This is the guy that led the tour. Oh, hey, Jarvis. How you doing? That's my daddy right there. That's my daddy right there. Yes, sir. I'm in touch with you guys. When you, when I, I wish I had your number so I, so I can tell you whenever you come home, you give me a call. What about you? What about you? Do what? Did you give me a number? I'm sorry. No, I got it. All I got is a call. All of it? I'm going to grab a six-pack for you. Oh, shit. Uh, so, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sit here. Did you walk in October Fest? Alright, October Fest. Okay, get that in stores. Huh? Is that what you want? Yeah. So, right? Yeah. Hold that up. Okay. Hold that up. But you can't get the one, you can't get that one at Harris Teeter. Christensen was a good cat. I mean, there's pictures of him in the movies. I saw Bill's picture, yeah. and I'm like, he hasn't changed. This is what's happening. He just hasn't changed. Hey, Dad. Is he? There's a group, a motorcycle group here, uh, the Combat Veterans Association. Yeah, they are. My name is Dick. Yeah, I was the lady that was like helping me touch the tanks and stuff was part of that group. They call me Skull. And, the, and, the, and it's a long story, but being Skull was my idol. So a lot of people call me Vinny or V. And then one guy said, so I that stuff for a long while. After a while, I figured out how I grew up. So I'm like, Vinny's fine. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Yes, sir. And I tell you what, if you ever come home, you give me a call. He's got my number. I got his 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 God, what was I gonna That's say? That's my little brother's body. Hell yeah. Huh? <laughs> he's a, he's a monster. Okay. How far is that? What's your number? Three, three, six. Nine, four, nine, four. Yeah, it's a lot better. Five, two, three, four. Hey, right, where'd Jarvis okay. go? I'm calling you right now. And just put Benny, put my cousin Benny there. And then you call me, you, come, you text me back, and I know it's you. And I need to be Okay, uh, appreciate it. Where's Jarvis? Where's Jarvis? Where's Jarvis? Yeah. He's coming back. He's getting me a six pack of beer. Oh, uh, because I was going to say, like, well, I remember I was talking about that I don't like cans that much. Uh -huh. It's not so much because of the taste, it's because every damn beer can feels the same. <laughs> I can't identify it. <laughs> so, like, I've been going, want, I have some red oak. <laughs> I don't know what you're drinking. Yeah, I have some red oak and some IPAs. I want to drink a red oak. I pull out a can, open it. Happy as a hell. I wish I was here with my wife to see what the night before the pandemic. Because, I mean, we stayed here. We talked to all the ball names back there. And that's what I told them about Bill and Christmas in the house. We used to go to Spring Garden. So, I'll be back when. I'll tell you what, we'll be back. I'll tell them. I'll tell them. I'll tell them what I. But I came to, to do a wine tasting, okay. and uh, it's been a pleasure. I got a ton of them. I worked there about four months. I hadn't had insurance, and the restaurant didn't have insurance. My wife was pregnant. So, but we used to go there, and we, they had a chicken sandwich called um, um, the, 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 the uh, That was funny. I, I, I laugh every time somebody says, call me a label or a label or whatever it was called. That was a big dumb person that I was in the trouble. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right, you too. Benny? Yes, sir. Great meeting you. It's been a pleasure, sir. You too. You take care of your dad going down the road, okay? I will. And tell your wife I say hey. <laughs> hey, where's uh? Where's that lady? Where's Allison? Where's Allison? Yeah. I don't know. The one I was over with the tanks. What's your name? Oh, That's Joey. Her. Allison. That's not Allison. Oh. I thought it was, but that was the lady that done the tank. What's yeah. your name? Little Joey. Joey. I yeah. gotta go, Joe. You stay right here until your dad gets back. Of course. Okay. <laughs> I'm no, babe. I'm gone. Huh? Don't I get a glass? You get the glass and the gift shop and come on. Okay, thank you. Joey, you stay right there until your pops gets back. Hi. Vinny, yeah. it was wonderful meeting you. It was good meeting you too. Take care. You too, thank you. Hi. What? It only took them like two minutes. Who's that way to my left right there? It's me, Joey. It's Allie. Allison. Oh, hey, I was looking for you. I'll come back and see you in just a second, okay, buddy? Where are you going? I'm talking over here selling some brackets. Oh, I heard you was, um, are you, are you a veteran? My husband is. Oh, wow. I make stuff for the military. I'm going to talk to you just a minute. Uh, I'm not Andy. I'm going to need another beer soon, I see. No crush. I got more beer. You got your whole life to live. Just because we're crazy and we need things to Anybody got more beer?
your name? What's your name? Joey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You having a nice day? Absolutely. Was you, on the, was you on the tour? Yeah, yeah. I like your jokes. I caught them before other people caught them. Your jokes. Oh, yeah. You like, like, like look over here. Oh, uh, yeah. I was, uh, I was talking about other breweries because, like, they were talking about the hops. There's breweries in Charlotte, especially these little ones. I don't know what it is with the little brewery, like, uh, uh, small scale breweries. And hops. They don't have a love affair. <laughs> My resident culture back in the day, they've gotten better about this because honestly, a lot of people were complaining. Oh, wow. Because, um, like, not really complaining, they were just saying, uh, I ordered a Pilsner King IPA. <laughs> because, um, which is nothing wrong with IPAs. But I only want an IPA when I want an IPA. I'm not, I'm not. So they're like, they've gotten better about this. But like back in 2020, 2021, like when they first got going, boy, it was all hops. You'd order a Pilsner, it was like one less hops than a hops pellet than an IPA. Uh, yeah. I don't even know if they use pellets. They're, they're a small scale brewery. Yeah. So they might use the flowers and stuff. So what's, what's your uh, favorite one here? Huh? What's your favorite one here? All of it. All of it. Yeah. See, I'm trying the white oak right now. I don't love it. You what? I'm trying the white oak right now. I don't love it. White oak? Yeah. I never had that one. It was number five. It was what? Number five. I don't know. She gave me. I might have, but if you don't like it, if you don't, if you really don't like it, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it off. You what? I'm gonna finish it off. Uh, it's just not my favorite. Uh, how old are you? Uh, thirty. Oh wow, I'm 24. Oh, okay. I turned 24 two weeks ago. Oh, me too. July 22nd. I'm going to finish July 15th. Oh wow. One week before. Huh? One week before. Yeah. I, to, I was in Myrtle Beach. I went to the Scott, uh, the club. Yeah. And I was like, 
I had this one on there dancing, like rocking back and forth, standing with my cane. And his girl's like, hi. And I was like, hi. And we're like, do you want to dance? I was like, that's a, a petty question. Of course I do. <laughs> you live around here? Um, not too, too far. Here, but my dad has business here, so. So I um. Which one, number five? Yeah, she's too quick. I want to try white oak because I've never even heard of. It. I didn't even knew they had white oak. But I don't. Is that the one that runs a beer? Oh my if you could flag her down, could you ask her for some white oak for me? This one's a, um, a Pilsner. It's a Pilsner's on the hopper, hoppier end of all the lagers. Because a, a Pilsner is a type of lager. It's a Czech beer. damn redneck, but I'm more sophisticated a little bit. I don't know how, but I'm crazy about beer. Oh, Black Oak. I've had that too. That's some good beer. Hey. Can, uh, can somebody give me some White Oak? White Oak, number five. I don't know if it's this one. I don't, I've never heard of it. It was number five. Thank you. I never even heard of white oak. It must be pretty new. There's red oak, white oak, black oak. When are they going to make blue oak for the panthers? And then it combined it with black oak so they can make panther oak. You like football? Not so much. Uh, I'm a massive panthers fan. You know what I did with my hearing aid? Look. That's panther colors. Thank you. What's your name? Huh? All right, I'm waiting on some food, so I'm heading back outside, okay? It was nice talking to you. You gonna do what? I'm, I got some food I'm waiting on. I'm gonna head back outside, okay? Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too. You on the tour? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you like my jokes, huh? I did. You like my blind jokes. They say, you can open up a rapid door and you can see it. No, I can't. Yeah. You too, thank you. This is my joke. Oh, it's like real. It's a bit hot. Just a taste of five. Huh? Just a taste of flour. I can't hear you. Yeah, I don't really like IPA very much. Yeah. Do you? I like IPAs. I've learned to like. I like IPAs, but that was the last beer I learned to like. Because IPAs are good for one thing. Getting me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and I've learned to appreciate the taste of them because there's some IPAs that are frankly better than others. Like, Wicked Weed Pernicious is awesome. It's not over the top hoppy. It's smooth. I like Wicked Weed. Yeah, it, it feels like it, it floats. It's like, I don't know how to describe the, the texture of Wicked Weed. But this is like um, the red oak because it, it depends on the tap water and, the, and, you know, where you're from, where the brewery is made. But. You like what? Too hard of ale. Have you had it? Where's that from? And where? It's an, it's an American pit. Oh. It's smooth. It's hoppy, but it's like a nicely balanced. You should try it. Oh, yeah. And let's see. I'd be on a mission to make the least hoppy IPA, but like, honestly, 
IPAs are quite polarizing. They're very polarizing. I like them for what they are. They're hoppy as shit. They're bitter, but they make you feel good. <laughs> but, 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 but the strongest beer at a brewery I go to in Charlotte is a stout. Dark as shit. It, it tastes like it tastes like drinking a. Uh, 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 Oh God! What's that? It tastes like drinking some Oreos, and it's thirteen percent. It I highly doubt it's thirteen percent because I didn't eat very much and I didn't feel it. So yeah, it's probably not thirteen percent. Did a good tour today. Oh yeah. I think I might add something to do with it. I think I might add something to do with it because I, you know, it was a unique tour. He doesn't usually have someone walking beside him. Oh, what's that bell? What did they say? They kicking us out of here? That might be white oak actually. It's happy. Hi. Why is that to my left over there? Hi. Hi. What's up? She just said we could, they're kicking us out? Thinking about that had uh, if you were on the tour, White Oak is the one I was thinking about that was sweet. I know it's not sweet, it's just um Why does this roof feel like it's clearing out? Stop for two hours, two minutes, night speech off. Oh, hi. I'm the only one over here. giving us free beer. Oh. They're not kicking us out, we just gotta start paying. Oh. Yeah. Well I already started this out, but I guess I didn't know uh, free beer was included with the twist. Hell of a deal for the uh, uh, samples, yeah the little tiny cups are free. Oh yeah the flights. Yeah. Yeah it's freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah make sure somebody gets you your they're giving away steins. Steins? Well it's uh hell yeah it's a big ass cup yeah so you need to make sure you go up front and get that before you leave. Oh wow. Okay. Wow, that's awesome. What'd you think of the tour? It was alright. It was uh they should give samples of beer along the way though. 
That's that's my suggestion. Yeah, but you know what? I kind of like it because um, the way they did it because uh, it's real fun. We get to sit and talk to people on the tour. Yeah. And hang out. I glad I got to feel the um, the tanks. Yeah, my buddy's wife is the one that walked you along with the pillow. Oh, your buddy's wife. So are you? So are you part of the uh, group? Yeah, the, the, the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association. Yeah, are you a veteran? Yes, sir. Thank you for serving, my man. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. Yeah, we're having an event here. Well, our event's not here tomorrow. Our event's out of Down Home Harley tomorrow, but we're going to have a stop here. So we're going to have a shit ton of veterans stopping and drinking beer tomorrow. Oh, hell yeah. If I didn't live two hours away, I'd come back tomorrow. I want to come for Oktoberfest, but I have to, you see my uh, cochlear implant right here? Yeah. I get that in Chapel Hill. Okay. Which is like one of the ways I discovered this clip, which is the way I discovered this uh, Where place. are you from? I'm from Charlotte. Oh, okay. But so they you wouldn't passed do by it here on the, way to, on the way to Chapel Hill? Yeah. Yeah. But they wouldn't do it in Charlotte. At the time, I was 17. They wouldn't do it in Charlotte because at that time, the FDA... The fucking dumb administration yeah, yeah. would um, would not approve cochlear implants for one year. Oh shit! Even though any other country was doing it, Canada was doing it, Switzerland was doing it, everybody else was doing it. Yeah, well, we like to take our time and get more money. You know. Oh yeah, like uh, you know, it. They, they, as somebody was saying, the government they perfect the art of coming late and leaving early. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a bad boyfriend. Uh -huh. Like a bad boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. And so they were like, they were saying that, and um, we were, um, but they only, it, there was a loophole that said a teaching hospital could do it. Yeah. So of go. course I ended up at Chapel Hill. Yeah. Say so Chapel Hill or Duke. That's two of the best places to go for teaching well, hospitals. Well, Chapel Hill at the time had um, Harold Pillsbury was the uh, main surgeon, and he was the number one cochlear implant surgeon in the United States before he retired. Fuck yeah. I was one of the last surgeries he did, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. I'd say what? I've had both my knees replaced because my military time, I, I blew both my knees out really bad. Oh, wow. My dad had both of his knees replaced. He just got his uh, right one replaced uh, three months ago. I had my left one done about five months ago, and I'm 40 years old. Oh, wow. I had my right You're one 40? done wow. at 36 years old. Wow. Yeah. And, it, and my right one was done by. Uh, you would you would enjoy talking to my dad because he's he um he had his done on May the eighth. Okay. He's um he's getting better and better. You Good. know. Yeah, I had mine done. My last my left one done in March, so I definitely understand where he's at. I had yeah. My right one was done at Duke over in, in uh, Durham by yeah. uh, Dr. Lukevich, who was kind of the same situation. He was one of the best in the country. He was getting ready to retire. Yeah. And he did my knee replacement for me before he retired. Wow. And my left one was done here in Greensboro at uh, Merge Ortho by a pretty solid guy that's probably going to retire in about five years. Wow. Yeah. My dad's guy was uh, Howard Holmesley. He said... He does. Uh, it's like uh, he says it's going like like through the Chick Fil A line. You can talk to him when he, when he gets back. Yeah. But like he had um, the reason I got to come here was because he, he has a customer over in uh, in the uh, Triangle area that you know will come all the way up here because obviously yeah. I love me some red oak. Amen. So we'll come up here and he'll be his customer and you know hang out. I'll be hanging out at Red Oak. Oh yeah, that's good shit. Yeah. It was a pleasure to meet you. I got some food waiting for me. Oh, you do? Yes, sir. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. I'll come back when I oh, see your dad. Uh, tell your, um, your, your, bu your buddy's uh, wife um, to come see me when I um, like when she's getting ready to leave because she, she was real nice. Like, she yes, helped she me feel the tanks and stuff. Allie. Come say hey to Joey. He wants to say thank you. Before we leave, like, before I, before she leaves and stuff. Uh, I did not get your cups. Ask Danny. What kind of motorcycle do you like to ride?
Hi. This room's getting quiet. Sweet. I try to be really nice. <laughs> you you know, I've been a nurse for a long time, so that's oh. what we do. Are you ready to go to your dad? Yeah. 
No, my dad. Uh, my dad's coming back to see me. I, I think that um, here, Joey. Won't you grab my arm? Because I think that. Uh, Yep. I, yep, you got I, it. Yeah, I think they're done pouring beer here. So but I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab you another should, beer. Should I stay here? I'm gonna probably gonna stay here so my dad don't freak out. I think yep. he's gonna take you to your dad. I tell you, uh, do you want to sit back on the bar stool and I'll grab you a beer? No, because I gotta go. We gotta go to the main one and close my tab. And I said I wanted to enjoy one outside. You want to enjoy one outside? What? I tell you, what, I'm gonna. I, you want to take a seat and I'll find him. Um, no, because he's outside meeting somebody. He's got business taken. Oh, uh, he's got business taken. So okay. I'll go. What right. do you want to do? What do you want to do? I'll just wait for him here. You wait for him here? All right. You don't want to have a beer? Huh? Do you want to sit up? Where do you want to sit? Because I'll find him and let him know. Outside. Yeah, all right. I'll take all you right. out there. He's got you right there. Thank you. Hey, Bye, Ali. Bye. Good to see you, Joey. You too. I always say good to see you for some reason when I see a lot of people. You take care. Uh, thank you. Have you a good time. Have you met black people before? Absolutely. I've been a nurse for a long time. Uh, how old are you? I am almost 40. Oh, wow. And you're still, and you're, and you're, uh, and you're very beautiful. I can see that. You said I'm very beautiful. You're very beautiful. That's you the best compliment I've received today. When a blind man says you're beautiful, you know he's right. <laughs> you see the parts, and that is what's best. Uh, he, oh, there he is. He yeah, he said he wanted to sit outside. Oh, yeah, he wanted to sit in the car and go home. Oh, okay. <laughs> we gotta close that tab out, don't we? Yeah, the tab is over here. No, I was in the main bar. That's where we're going. That's where you're at. It. But I wonder when we got the tab, I wanted to buy another one, close the tab, and uh, sit outside. Bye, Joe. Oh, we'll Bye. Glad, glad to see I you. I know pictures of going to the garden here, and every time we got a chance, we come here. I want to go in the garden. I haven't been in the garden in years. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Bye. Come on, just have fun. Bye. 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 The six pack you gave me? We sure did. Bye, have a nice day. Come on, Giuseppe. Appreciate it. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, hi.
Claro. Oh, what thing? Can you open? Can you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should have said something before. I, that. I, I did. You did? Yeah. Now, who's being here? You and me. You. Both of us. <laughs> you know, there's no, there's no, there's nothing that says it's impossible for both, for two you know, people. The said, right to the left, because women are always right. <laughs> <laughs> what is this is that? Oh, you should take a picture of that for mommy. Okay, there we go.